After Jesus had been taken from them and brutally crucified on the cross, the disciples of Jesus were left confused and downhearted. It had been three days since the tragedy when two of the disciples began the seven-mile journey to a village called Emmaus. When they traveled together, they talked about the things that had happened. At a certain point in their journey, another man joined them and continued with them in conversation. The man was Jesus, their beloved master, but the disciples did not recognize him. The man asked, what is it that you are talking about? The disciples were surprised that he was not aware of the recent events that had shaken the city. With a sorrowful look, Cleopas, one of the two disciples, answered the stranger, Are you the only visitor to Jerusalem who does not know the things that have happened over the past days? Jesus pretended not to know, saying, What things? The things concerning Jesus of Nazareth, a great and mighty prophet, they replied. Our own chief priests and rulers delivered him up to be contemned to death and they crucified him. We had hoped that he was the one to save all of Israel, but here we are three days later, left alone and confused. And to add to the confusion, some of the women in our group came back from the tomb and declared to us that the body was gone, that they had seen a vision of angels who told them he was alive. Jesus responded to their words, how foolish you are and how slow to believe all that has been recorded in scripture. Did the prophet say that the Messiah would have to suffer these things first? Then he opened up the scriptures and began to show them everything concerning himself. The disciples were completely amazed at the man's words so that when they arrived at their destination, they strongly urged him to stay and join them for supper. Jesus agreed to stay and sat down with the men. He took the bread before him, gave thanks to God, broke it, and handed the pieces to the disciples. And it was in that moment that they finally recognized him as Jesus, their beloved master. But no sooner did they recognize him that he vanished from their sight. The two disciples were filled with awe and completely overwhelmed as they recounted every word that Jesus had spoke to them. They exclaimed, didn't our hearts burn with us while he talked to us on the road and while he showed us the scriptures? Their eyes had been opened and their troubled hearts set free. The stranger was Jesus, the long-awaited Messiah, and he was indeed alive.